Okay, uh, we're going to go back on these parts. And, uh, Vinny's not here today, so I, uh, going to use his, uh, airline and his, uh, one pen for the box over there. So I haven't turned this on yet. And, uh, I'm indicating this where the dowel pins are. That's pretty flat. And what I do is I turn the reader on. And I, uh, I got the unit off. But I got the... I got the brake on to hold that in position. And this is still loose. Now normally, I would have this on, I then use a timing pin to set up the uh, fixture slash arbor, whatever I'm doing over here, but the, uh, there is no real pin on this one, and it's not really set, so I have to kind of work backwards on this one. So, what I do is I indicated that flat, I left this loose, so I can turn the unit on, and now that it locked up, I know that this is still true, because it's locked with the, locked with the brake, so I can tighten these screws. I can't use my uh, long Allen wrench because I put this guy in the back. Oh, that's okay. Doesn't take that long. Just snug these down a little bit. So I got to have the 360. So we still got zero here. So now we gotta get to those other set of screws. I'm gonna take the brake off. And we'll set this uh set that to two divisions. Go ahead and rotate this guy. Oh, look at that. It went to three divisions. I was wondering why it was going like that. Good thing I had that reader on there. So I went back. And uh, change that to two. Now uh, we're right back at 358, 359. Yeah, I should go the other way. I don't want the numbers going up, I want them going down. One eighty. That's good. So we gotta tighten this other set of screws. Put the brake on the. I'm holding the camera with one hand and 
tightening the screws with the other. Yeah, I'm doing a little bit of multitasking today. So, anyway, the angle that was on there, I thought that was like 10 or 12 degrees, and I looked at the drawing, and it's only 3. I mean, it looks deceiving because, you know, I took a glance at it, and I said, oh, yeah, you know. But, you know, you get this number in your head, and you just can't get rid of it, and... I looked at the drawing and it's only three degrees and uh, anyway I was going to take this unit home and put the number in it and change this and change that and but you know I, you can't do that every time a job comes up and it's different so I had to think of some other way of doing it and of course you know you could you could bring that you could uh, you know load it through the computer here but then uh, I thought about it, and I said, well, you know, with that reader on there, I don't really need that box. I got the, the brake, which is actually the lock. So I could just turn the unit off, rotate it the way I want, lock it in place, and go for it. So that's what we're going to try. We're going to go ahead and do this one. And then we're going to take a skin cut on both these sides and then uh, put the radius on there. Now there's a, a problem I ran into with these parts. I was looking at them yesterday and uh, What he milled. What he milled this part. One is offset from the other. This one. The end of the end of the second part has a different end location from the first part because the two the two halves are shifted. Oh, this is like the one of the better ones, but the pattern. Oops. pattern here is shifted. See, between this part and this part, there's a little a step from where the pattern is shifted. Yeah, the one I worked on yesterday, I tried to blend it in. You see how this one's in? A lot further than this one.
and it, it just didn't work out. I still, I don't know where that line came from. I went into the computer and I looked for it. I didn't really see anything. So I tried to I tried to bring these ends in, tried to move them in ten thousandths, but the program was sitting there telling me that the, the two lines don't intersect and I got the model from the engineer and they're not working today and ah, you know, we just the ends of it aren't critical, like I said before, it's mostly the shape. So we'll do we'll do the best we can with it. Alright, I gotta put the program in and get the tool set up and I got the uh, the X and the Y set. I gotta get the tool and I took the program out yesterday thinking I wasn't gonna use it and I gotta put it back in but it, it's just on the stick so I just gotta reload it. Not a big deal. <laughs> 